Happy Monday, fourth graders. So for this Making Connections, check in Google form. You're going to complete it to your best ability because this is not for a grade. We just want to see Mrs. Rodriguez is going to be giving you all a lesson on Tuesday over Making Connections. So we both want to see what you already know about text to text, text to self, and text to world connections. You're going to do your best at the end when you submit this, you're not going to get a grade because this is just going to be information to help Mrs. Rodriguez and I to help you guys with making connections. You're getting um, you're going to get a lesson from Mrs. Rodriguez, my clinical co-teacher from Tarleton tomorrow on Tuesday over making connections. So let's get started. You're going to write your name, select your homeroom teacher. And once again, this is not for a grade. This is just to help you out for your lesson tomorrow. In the book, I Will Never Eat a Tomato, I read about a little girl who was a fussy eater. She didn't like peas, tomatoes, and mashed potatoes. The part about peas made me think of my dislike for green things as well. I do not like broccoli. Would that be a text-to-text -text connection? A connection between the text and another story you have already read? Would that be a text-to-self connection, a connection between the text and something in your own life experience, or a text-to-world connection between the text and something occurring in the world? Made me think of my dislike for things green as well. I do not like broccoli. Next one. Yesterday, I read Pippi Longstocking. She is always messing things up. She reminds me a lot of Amelia Bedelia. They are both so silly. It is the statement above text to self, text to text, or text to world. So text to text, text to self, or text to world. My favorite book is about different types of trees. I learned many facts about evergreen trees. Did you know they always stay green? There are dozens of evergreens around the park. Is the statement above text to self, text to text, or text to world? Where the wild things are is about a boy who has a great imagination. He was sent to his room without any supper because he was not being kind to his mother. My mom sent me to my room last night because I was picking on my brother. Is the statement above text to self, text to text, or text to world? Make your selection. Read the story below. Describe a connection you have to the story. Describe a connection you have to the story. Is this text to text, text to self, or text to world? Sarah walked home from school, skipping and smiling. It was the first day of school, and although she was a little, uh, little nervous when she woke up, she had a great day. Her friend Debbie rang her doorbell at 8 sharp and com commented right away on the new dress Sarah's mom bought her for this special day. It had light blue polka dots with ruffles on the sleeves. The two girls started their walk to school. When they arrived, they met their teacher, who gave them pencils with frogs on them and play with their friend Eric at recess. He told them all about his summer vacation in Florida. Tomorrow will be the second day and Sarah is already looking forward to it. This story reminds me of when, this is your sentence starter. I want you to type in the, your answer in the text box by typing in the story, the sentence starter. This story reminds me of when, then you're not going to type in the three dots. Those three dots are there to show you that that's where you start writing your own words and you complete the sentence. So make a connection. What does the story remind you of? By using the sentence starter, this story reminds me of when and then complete it with your own words and then click submit. And once again, this is the making connections check in Google form audio support video explaining you what to do and that this is not for great this is just to help us out and to get more information on who already knows about connections thank you for watching and make sure to complete the google form um and it's due today